Alright, Shalom, let's go forward. This is the next part of we're gonna deal with Tawahid though, to be one. And, and let's try to go through this at a at a lively pace. Alright, um We're gonna go through at a lively pace and we hope and pray that all receive the grace of Abba in the name of Gita Chinam and Khanita Chinam, Black Lord and Savior Justice Christ. Amen and Amen. So Tawahido. Tawahido, this is the process, right? To be one. Right? The process of what? The process of the correct or the true faith, what we call the Ritua Hymenum. Right? The Ritua Hymenum. But we're gonna focus on this right here, Tawahido. Um, in this book right here, we've, we've been pointing to this particular book right here, the Ethiopian Tawahido Church, by our late Archbishop, the one sent to the West, um, Abuna Yisahak, right? An excellent book, right? And he breaks down in here a very important chapter on the Amistu Ha'emada Mishtir, and the first one is the mystery of the Trinity. And as he's been saying, before we get into the, before we get into this, we need to build up on a biblical scriptural foundation. All right, and and you can find this kind of order. Awesome teaching of Matthew. First, we as Ethiopians, our ancestors received the Old Testament in Old Testament times, then the New Testament, and one of the first of of the nations. You know, saying to 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 follow or to accept and to walk in the way of the true and living Son of the true and living Father. Now, to be one, we had said before we were looking up a couple of verses and we found that, like when we tried to look it up, you know, we looked for, for the one, one particular area was this. It was uh, John chapter, put this over here, it was John chapter 8. Turn your Bibles to John chapter 8. Mm-hmm. Now, in, now in, John, in John chapter 8, there's, there's some, well, everything Yeshua says is important. It is more than important, but just so we can receive it, so we won't be, you know, so, we won't, so we'll be sober, you know what I'm saying? Just say everything is important. Um, um, some of these, you know, you get into one word sound and your, your, your spirit is opened up and you, <laughs> it's like you're saying everything. You, you know, that's what I'm going to say, that there's nothing, although there's nothing that's not written in the Holy Scripture. But the natural man doesn't see it like that. The natural man thinks, like, well, the Bible has some good things in it, but really, it doesn't have everything in it. That's the natural man. Some things are, some things are, are, are prevented because of the lack of faith. It's impossible to please Abba, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo, without faith. You understand? Without faith imminent that subjective faith in the object of I and I faith, the word that has become flesh, the Amen be Christ's name. So we're going to touch on this part right here. I was looking up that part where Christ was speaking to some of, some of, um, um, he was at the feast, I think after the feast, he had a discourse, yes, he had a discourse, um, concerning the light of the world. Concerning the light of the world, that's important. Seeing that we had touched on, um, we touched on James speaking of the um, Yevrahanat Abba, the Father of Light, right? And where I ended off on saying that, um, or fulfilled that reason, saying that we are really the true Illuminati. You understand? I mean, spiritually speaking. See, we said that people get it twisted because they're already twisted. They need to turn to the Father. When they turn to the Father, they get untwisted. You understand? But because they keep going their way, they keep being twisted. <laughs> you know? But anyway, be that as it may, right? Um, here, right, here in this chapter right here, um, we could begin from verse 12, right? We could begin from verse 12, but um, cause this, is, this is where he's saying the light, and he's not talking about he's the sun. The sun up in the sky, the solaris. You know, what I'm he's not saying that he is that sun. He is likened to the sun. He said, but he's not saying that he is that particular um, sun. So he's speaking about he's the light of the world in what way? You see, in, in a spiritual or 
for lack of a better word, but we should be able to, as mature children, mature sons and daughters, we should be able to overstand it in a supernatural way. But there are some who have crept in amongst us who say that His Majesty, that our Father says something that He does not say. And we call them by a new name for them in a heart, Wishitam. It's in Wishit and Wishitam. That's a lie, and they are liars. You know what I'm saying? That's magic and supernatural is a false concept. That's to say it's almost like the spiritual, the spiritual doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Which shows, really, from what perspective they are approaching this word. They're approaching this word from a, from a natural disobedience. You know what I'm saying? A natural disobedience. So we, we hope and pray that they repent and, and receive you know, and grow, you know, saying, as children, and, and not be big-headed, you know, saying, like they said, that they not be so-called born big, you know, saying, in other words, right? Because you said, be as little children, little children, and we grow up, not to stay our whole life, in other words, in Rastafari as little children, but to grow up to Him in all things. So let's just get through this right here, right? Um... John chapter 8. This is going to be on Tawahido. Right? This is going to be on Tawahido right here. Um, remember, it means to be one. It means fusion. Right? Unity and fusion. The opposite of oneness, unity, and fusion is what? It's confusion. And confusion has a biblical name, and that is Babylon. Right? And that's what a Babylon about Babylon. You understand? We preach and we proclaim the teaching of His Majesty and in the name of His Christ, Jesus Christos, without any apology. You understand? Without no apology. You know, but, um, you have to be firm in the faith and you have to walk in the faith, in the way, the truth, and the life to be an overcomer and not to be overcome by these worldly sort of things. You know, but, 12, verse 12, it says, Then spake Jesus again to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the what? The light of light. Now, we already know that I and I are a witness to this in spirit and in truth. The overs, and so when we see him, we see Jesus. We see Yeshua in spirit and in truth. But there's some who say, I, 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 follow, I, 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 no, 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 no. This children of disobedience. We are to be followers of the Jesus Christos. That's the only way we truly are his sons and daughters. And we hold that name of Rastafari, that new name, not in vain. All right? So he says that whoever followeth him, in spirit and truth, the word become flesh, shall not walk in darkness, not, not walk in ignorance, but shall have the light of life. Now the Pharisees therefore said to him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. You know, like, like folks that, if we say something, they just, they just, they just chomp on a bit. Rah, 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 rah. Or you said this, or how is this, you know, you know, like, you be a master of Israel, and how you know not these things? Well, I don't know what you're talking about because you don't know and bear witness to what the king is talking about. So I don't, I don't know that, you know. But, but this is what they did right there, the Pharisees. The same thing a lot of the Rasta Pharisees do, also to this ministry and to I and I, right? But Yeshua answered and said to them. Though I bear record of myself, he says, yes, I am bearing record of myself, yet my record is true. I may be talking about myself, but my, what I'm saying is true, right? He says, for I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I came, and whither I go. You can't tell where I've come from, or where I'm going. All right? This is a special moment for you all. You'll see me now. You understand, but you don't know where I came from or where I'm going, right? Because they don't follow him. You know, this, this is like a this is like a cross examination. You understand before the Pharisees. Verse 15 says, "Ye judge after the flesh." In other words, they judge after the natural, after the carnal. 
and Rastafari not want no carnal mind. But he judge us in the flesh. I judge no man. That's interesting. Some people say that it's Jesus that judge, right? They say it's it's a yes, it's Yeshua. Mm -hmm. But what did Yeshua say? He said, I'm not judging no man. You know what I'm saying? Like some people might hear the teaching and certain things that we're preaching and they get offended. Like 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 like, like we judging them. We're not judging any man as Yeshua, our master, has not judged and he says, I judge no man. Verse 16, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. Most we said, I am not alone. So brothers and sisters, why do you feel like you're alone? Right? Why do you, if he is with you, why do you feel like you are alone? You see, you're, you're walking after the flesh. But I and the Father, right, he says, he says, but I and the Father that sent me, it is also written, right, it is also written in your law, right, in their version of the Torah, right, that the testimony of two men <laughs> is true. Chance. He always what he says right here. He says to them, right, that it's written in your law, in Torah, that the testimony of two what? Read it for yourself. John 8 and verse uh, 8 and 17. He says, it is also written. He's stacking it up on them, right? It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men, of two men is true. This is something that we want to touch on that's related to this. That we first of all have to get eye and eye, heart, mind, and bodies right in the Trinity, right? The Trinity and man aligning it with the Father in and through Yeshua HaMoshiach, right? It's almost like the cross, the sign of the cross. You know, but it's like the cross in heaven is, 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 is the Trinity. And we on earth have to align ourselves with the Father in and through Yeshua. I'm speaking spiritually, ironically, if you please, if you can receive it.